week five, day three, complete the table. So we're adding, I'm gonna put this up here. We're adding three and adding five. So as we go down the add three, it goes four, then five, six, seven, eight, and nine. When we add five, one plus five is six, so two plus five is seven, and then eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, the next problem is round eight and 43 thousandths to the nearest hundredth. Okay, I'm gonna get out my mat. Sorry, chart. Sorry, chart. Okay, who, what is the number again? Um, eight, one, and 43,000. Like this? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. Yes. eight and 43,000. I'm supposed to round to the nearest hundred, which is right here. So I'm going here, looking at this number and the next door neighbor. And I ask myself, are you five or higher? No. no. So my answer is 8.04. 8.04. Austin, are you with us? Okay. Um, next problem says write seven hundredths in standard form. Well, I can also use my mat again. Ah! Okay, Matt, 10 points for your team for my constant forgetting. Okay. Um, if we have seven hundredths, how do I write that? Well, I can look under hundredths and I have to have a seven. seven here. So I can't leave this blank, so I know I have to have a zero here. Seven hundredths. Not anything else. This is just permanent. Okay, questions, Peyton? Um, could you write zero point yes, this is the oh, same thing. You can do that. Okay, last problem on day three. How many times greater is the value of the digit two in, the, in 23,876 than the value of the digit two in 3,254? So let's use our chart. Let's use our chart. So 23,000. Compared to 3,000. 254. So we're looking at um, the two. Okay, we're looking at this two compared to this two. Okay, how many steps would I be going between these? Two. So it says, how many times greater is the value of the digit two in 23,000? Well, how many steps do I need to get to here? Two. One, two, 100 times. That's why this chart is so helpful because I can see it. I can see that I have to take two steps and I know for every step it's a multiplication of 10. Questions, Stephen? Okay. It, it's still if you have the answer of a hundred times, that's the diff, that's the question. Uh, Jacinta. I love that you did that differently. That's great. No, but you, that's, that's what we're just, I'm just trying to communicate clearly. Andrew? So, I didn't know what to do because I could never understand it, so I just took a best guess and said 100. Okay, but now do you see uh, when we're looking at it, do you understand? Yes. Okay. Matt? My first answer was two times, but then I was like, no, because I was just thinking of the two times the top Oh, right. Okay, because each step means multiplying by 10 or a power of 10. Okay, Sophia?
Yeah, you don't want to have a zero at the end. You have to get the, when it's, wherever it says to stop the tenth, the hundredth, whatever, that's your last number. So just get in that habit, okay?